Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be doing a proper breakdown of the new trailer that is technically for the Cayo Perico heist coming soon to Grand Theft Auto Online. It's for a part of the update, the music locker. And I want to actually break down the trailer and the screenshots more because especially with the trailer yesterday, like it was so quick. And if you tried to like pause it, it would like almost give you a headache. So I want to take a look at some like actual screenshots that give us a decent idea of what this is going to look like, as well as breaking down, uh, again, some of the more proper images that they showed us the other day. So these are all going to be coming from the trailer. And hopefully it gives you a better idea of what the music locker is going to look like. Again, because the trailer happened so freaking quick, you kind of have to pause and get your screenshots. And one of the things I've noticed is that Rockstar made this look very, very similar to the current nightclubs that we already have. So it would not be shocking if we saw a lot of like reused materials in terms of the design and how it looks and the lighting fixtures, etc. So this is our first shot that I was able to pull right here. And it it kind of looks like this is like an entrance or something. Again, there's a lot of like visuals and stuff on the screen that you just can't get rid of. But again, looking at our second shot right here, this looks like it's potentially an entrance or an exit as well. Uh, as you can see, there's sort of like a side door with a tiny light there. And it's very industrial, as you guys can see. There's like pipes and there's exposed concrete and all that sort of stuff here. So it's not very posh. It's definitely like a underground music scene. Here's another shot right here. I don't know if this is the same entrance that we were looking at earlier. Uh, Rockstar also put this sort of blue filter on there, so I'm not really sure what's going on here, but again, you can tell that this is most definitely like an underground vibe that's going on. Uh, if we also look at this shot right here, this is the opening soon shot. Again, not sure where this is exactly like if this is the entrance because you can see on the ground there's just like a bunch of trash there's wrappers and bottles of beer and other stuff and again you can obviously tell very very industrial exposed brick exposed like air conditioning pipes and the lights coming off of the wall this next shot right here actually gives us a look into the crowd and i think these are two grand theft auto online characters we're looking at because you can see some of the tattoos on this girl's right arm. You can also see the top that she has on and the hat as well. And I'm not sure if any of the figures or characters around her are Grand Theft Auto Online characters, but again, it just confirms that not everyone in that shot is necessarily an NPC, which is tough because sometimes the NPCs will have on items and articles of clothing that our characters can't necessarily have, which is something we'll dive into in a little bit. You can also see some more parts of what the music locker is going to look like right here. This, of course, with the text, the music locker on the screen. It also looks like it's multi-leveled as this is on the second story. And you can see there's a balcony there that drops off. So it is going to be very similar to the nightclubs, how you have like a first level that I'm assuming is going to be like the main dance floor. And then there's going to be a second level with what I'm guessing will be like VIP suites, access to other areas, etc. Uh, we also get sort of a zoomed out view right here as, again, Rockstar did some like weird, crazy effects in this. So there's like something going on on the screen right now, but it shows you more of like the lighting and it shows you more of, again, what's going on on this second level. Uh, the same shot right here shows us what the crowd looks like as Moody Man, who is one of our DJs, is going to be performing. And again, I can't really tell if anyone here is an NPC or a Grand Theft Auto Online character. Uh, Rockstar makes it so hard to differentiate between the two, especially when you've just got still shots right here. Especially because when they're making these trailers, they can manipulate things pretty much any way that they want to. Now, I know this is kind of hard to see, but again, try and focus on not like the black. Try and focus on what's going on behind it. It looks like we can see our same girl character there that looks to be dancing in front of the DJ booth. I know this is really difficult. Rockstar made this like the hardest trailer to break down ever, especially if you're trying to view it in real time. I mean, it's hard enough with these screenshots right here. But again, you can see the crowd dancing. You can see roughly how that's going to be like. Here's another version of that right here where, again, we can see our same character. I think there are a lot of NPCs in this shot. The one interesting thing that I saw here is the neon green. It looks like that's like a necklace or something like that. Wouldn't that be cool if you could have like glow stick necklaces or something along those lines? I'm really hoping that a lot of the things we see 
in these screenshots and trailers are, are given to our characters, but I'm, I'm not so confident that will be the case. Some more shots right here. Again, this confirms this is going to be multi-story as we see a staircase in sort of a spiral fashion. So it'll work very similarly to the nightclubs. Again, you've got the main story, second story, whatever is going on up there. I'm not sure if the second story is for VIPs only. We will certainly find out. Uh, we get to see more of what that looks like with sort of Moody Man coming onto the screen. And then he comes onto the screen even more. It's weird that he's the only one they really showed off in the trailer. I mean, they talked about some others, but he's like the only one that they ended up focusing on. So maybe it's because he's the first one that's going to arrive. And then we get some couple more shots again of the actual music locker itself. And I just noticed that this might actually be like a, a bathroom. I don't know. This looks like a community place in which you can just like pee side by side. Am I looking at the right thing here? That just seems kind of odd that that would be like the one thing that Rockstar shows off. I don't know. Maybe that's how things work. I've never used a restroom like that. But uh, you guys can let me know in the comments down below. So those are some of the, the still shots from the actual trailer itself. And then going back to the screenshots that Rockstar provided, there's a couple of interesting details that some people in the community have pointed out that I think would be super cool if we ended up getting in Grand Theft Auto Online. And this first one comes from this shot with Moody Man. And one of the things that a lot of people pointed out is what he has in his ear. And it looks like he is actually wearing AirPods. That's pretty cool. Now, I don't know what Rockstar would call them in game, like Fruit Pods or something like that, but they're basically like the Apple wireless headphones. That would be awesome. He also has a really cool set of sunglasses on, which I think would be awesome if we could have his sunglasses that look like that. And all the characters and the actresses behind them, they seem to have unique hairstyles too. Now, we talked about this in my first video that anything you see, especially on these premium characters, there's a chance we won't be able to get uh, on our characters. But just holding out hope that at least something simple like those AirPods, that would be pretty awesome. I know a lot of people would want to have those for their characters. A lot of people have pointed out that in this shot right here, those glasses look to be brand new. And if they are, I unfortunately think they might be for this DJ only. Also, he is com has a completely shaved head. That's a hairstyle that a lot of people have been asking for for, I would say, years now in Grand Theft Auto Online. And Rockstar have not given that to us at all. So, again, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to get that. And then in this shot right here, we have our trifecta of DJs who have a lot going on. Uh, obviously, those are three brand new shirts. I think the one with the Rockstar logo in the back, that's pretty cool. But I don't think we'll have access to that. The guy on the far left has a lot of accessories like the beads, the rings, uh, and even like the necklaces. And the guy on the right with like the, the interesting beanie and how it like barely is sitting on top of his head and the hoodie. And the guy in the middle has like a really detailed afro. So again, I don't expect our characters to be able to get all of these. But if they do, those are some of the new items you would expect, uh, especially if they're given to some of the premium characters and DJs. So long story short, what do you guys think of the music locker that's going to be coming to Grand Theft Auto Online in the Cayo Perico heist? Do you think this is going to be something that players will take advantage of? Do you think it's going to be something that they just go there once and say, well, that was cool, but I'm going to go do some other stuff now? Let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Cayo Perico heist videos that I'll be doing here on my channel once the update actually arrives. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.